Are you kidding me? An amazing free AI paraphrasing tool? Well, if you'd like to learn a little bit more about that, stick around to the end. Hey, I'm Henry from Product Creation Formula, and here at Product Creation Formula, we love to give you tips and tricks to be able to help you create your products quickly and easily. Along with that, we also do product reviews, as well as tips on how to make money online. So, if that's the sort of thing that interests you, how about you smash the like button, as well as subscribe, and hit the bell icon, so you can be notified whenever we upload more videos. All right, guys, let's go check it out. I would like to introduce you to a free paraphrasing tool called Rephrasely. Now, Rephrasely has one up on Quillbot by the fact that it allows up to 3,000 characters in its free version, which is really cool. And what you can do is you can actually paste it in here, much like what you would do with Quillbot. You hit paraphrase and it'll give you a paraphrase version of it over here. Let me show you what you can get in the free version of this particular paraphraser. You do is you click over here and you can have a look at the various things. Now this is in the free section just here in the white. And anything for the premium section, if you want to have more academic or you want to have a clear or elaborate, creative, formal, cohesive, or if you want to have emphatic, then you can choose this section just here. Now we'll have a look at the pricing in just a minute. Now with this particular one, it only allows you to have the standard. Now the one thing I don't like about this is that it doesn't give you the ability to isolate words. Now when it comes to languages, it will pick up on the language that you're using. And these are the detected languages that it will find. If you go through, you can have a look at the various languages that are there. Now, let's just put that in here. We go, I've actually got down here, this particular article just here, which is part of an ebook. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy all of this and I'm just going to grab an entire chapter and see whether or not it can take all 3000 characters in one sitting. I'm not sure if a thousand characters or more. It looks like I have reached the end. Yes, I have. Okay, so I just right click here or hit control C, either or, and we're going to paste this straight into here. Now, it won't let you have any more than 3,000 characters. So if there's too many, and it looks like there's too many, it only allows me up to mistake number five. So let me remove that there. So as we have gotten rid of that, and it takes that up to mistake number four, and we can reduce a couple more spaces just there. Now, as you have a look through here, you can now hit paraphrase and very quickly it will create the paraphrase for you and place it in here you also have a plagiarism checker if you want to check the pack plagiarism and also compose i'm not really sure what compose does i'll have a quick look at that a little bit later okay so it says many people who have not become successful in their use of plr material says that it's a waste of time many people who have not become successful in using plr material says that it is not worth their time okay that's definitely changed it now you can't alter or change anything in here from what I can see, unlike in Coolbot. As a paraphrasing tool goes, this is pretty good. Now you can't, if I hit there, I can't change it. I can't do anything with it. It just paraphrases it for me. Now let's go on to the next part. This is the usual case with people doing things wrongly with PLR material. People often make mistakes with PLR material, especially if they're not familiar with the copyright laws. That's a little bit wrong, but that's okay. We can always fix that up. Let's have a look at paraphrasing this again and see whether or not it's going to actually give us a more accurate version. I suspect even Quillbot would have done that most likely. Many people who have not become successful with using PLR material says that it's not worth their time. This is usually the case with people doing things wrong with PLR material. It's important to be aware of the common mistakes people make when using PLR material to improve their writing skills. Okay, this is just the right, okay. This is just right to discuss the most common mistakes people do when harnessing the capability of PLR material so you can avoid committing the same mistakes. Okay, so this actually wrote it better than this. This was written really poorly. At least the last part was written really poorly. And this has actually written it better. As you go through, you can actually have a bit of a read through and check out all the mistakes and anything that there might be there that might be mistakes. And then you can just copy all of this, place it into a Word document or into a notepad somewhere, and then just format it the way you want it. Now let's go and have a look at Compose. Let's see what that does. Okay, Compose. Keywords, plant-based energy. Okay, so, all right, so you, oh, it looks like it'll actually write some, oh, it looks like it'll write articles for you. Let's put keywords in here. Private label write articles. Okay, so I'm not sure whether or not this will create an article for me. Let's just compose with what I've got there so far and see what it'll do for me. You can compose and see what happens. Okay, create an account for a free comp composition and plagiarism check. Okay, so I need to actually sign up for this. So I'll be right back when I do that. 
I'm just gonna pause the video till I do that. Okay, I'm back. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna hit compose and we'll see what it does. Oh, it's asking me to pay for it. All right, well now that I'm here, let's have a look at this section here. All right, I've only been doing the free version. So obviously you need to be, if you wanna be able to compose stuff with it, you need to pay for it. But it's not very expensive. It's only $59.88 per year if you decide to go that way, or $7.99 a month. Now this obviously is a much better value if you can get it for that. And then all you need to do is just purchase that at a full year. I think I'll do this a little bit later on, not right now, but this is how much it is. So you get unlimited paraphrasing in 20 styles, up to 500 paragraph months, and then you get up to 100 plagiarism checks per month, more powerful paraphrasing for all modes and languages. But if you're going for the full, this one here, Unlimited paraphrasing in 20 cells, unlimited paragraphs generating, unlimited pa plagiarism checks, more powerful paraphrasing for all modes and languages. So as you can see, if you can afford it, this is definitely the better option to go for. 59.88 per year, which is really, really cheap when you consider. When you compare that to other paraphrasing tools, it's actually quite a bit cheaper. And from what I can see, it does a pretty good job of rewriting content. So let's re put that content back in there again, and then we'll re rephrase this one more time. Now let's go have a quick comparison. Many people who have not become successful with the use of PLR material says that it is just a waste of time. Many people who have not become successful in using PLR materials say that it is not worth the time to invest. People often do things wrong with PLR material. There are some common mistakes people make when using material to PLR material to improve their writing skills. So you can have a look through that and then you can compare the two. And there is quite a difference in between the two. And you can also go over here to the plagiarism checker if you wish to. And you can put the original article in there. And then you can also place the checked article. So go back over here to paraphrase. We do this again. I'm just going to copy that and put that into a notepad. And then I'm going to copy this paraphrase once it comes up. And then we're going to compare the two. I'm just going to pause the video while I do that. Okay, now let's go and have a look at the plagiarism checker. Click on that. Now that I'm signed in, I can actually do that now. So let's go and have a look at compare the two. I'm just going to grab this particular one and I'm going to copy all of that and place that straight into, this is the original text. It's an actual plagiarism checker. That's good. Okay, so of course there's going to be a plagiarism on this one. Now let's put the other one in here and then we'll get rid of that and we will then paste the new one, the new par paraphrase version of it in here. I'm going to place the paraphrase version just there. And now we'll do a plagiarism check and see whether or not it's going to let me do it. Oh, it's only letting me do one. Let me do one plagiarism check. <laughs> okay, so I did it incorrectly. That's because I wasn't really aware of this particular one or what it can do. So it appears it doesn't do too, too, do too bad a job, but you can only do one plagiarism check before you can actually, before you have to pay for it. This is called Rephrasely. Now I will purchase this one because I think it'll be actually worth it because it does rewrite it quite well by the looks of it. It appears to be quite unique as well. So I will have a look at purchasing this later on and do another video on the paid version of it. Anyway, I'll leave a link for this in the description down below. All right, guys. Hey, if you got some value out of this video, how about you smash the like button as well as subscribe and hit the bell icon so you can be notified when we upload more videos. Hey, while you're at it, why not consider sharing and also leave a comment down below and let me know what you think of Rephrasely. All right, guys. Now, over here is a video I believe you might like. Down here is a video YouTube thinks you might like. And right here is an image of my head. If you click on that, you'll be able to subscribe. All right, guys, thank you so, so much for watching, and bye for now.